I'm Katherine Mackey with Terrier Vision here with Coach I. This is your second SOCON series at home. You've sweeped both of them. Tell us about this weekend. This weekend was really big. We've been on the road for a long time. We had a nine game road trip before this and we talked about coming home and getting in a rhythm and we were able to do that. Started with Adam on Friday night and then this weekend we were really proud of our players as a coaching staff because both games change Saturday and Sunday mid game. You know, we had leads in both of them. Yesterday they came back and got it really close and then we had to put them away late. And then today they actually were able to tie it. We scratched across one run, got really good pitching from Jake and then really good defense to finish it. So just really proud of our guys to be able to adjust mid game and be able to come out with three wins. Wallace deals, swing and a miss. Strike three and the 0-2. Not close, fastball high. Delayed steal down to second. And the throw goes all the way through. The runner from third breaks, and McDougald will score. Jake, you came in in the fifth inning today with seven strikeouts. Tell us your feeling up on the mound. I mean, I came in, gave up that grand slam, which no one ever wants to do. But after that, I got a chance to settle in and had all three pitches on the plate. And I knew that whatever I threw, the defense behind me was going to help me. So it gave me a lot of confidence. This game can be contributed to the bullpen today. Tell us how you guys played today. I mean, we played well. I mean, Ty came in, did his job getting those four outs and then everybody after that did their job and as a bullpen you need to come in and get one out at a time and I, that's what we did tonight. And the next swing and a slow bouncer wide a third. McDougal cuts it off in front of the shortstop. Wide throw to first but a fine job by Orzel to get off the bag and apply the tag. It really seems like each individual player contributed to each and every single one of the games this weekend. Tell us the bond that the teammates have. Yeah, we talk about you know winning in different ways and good teams find a way to win in different ways. And to me, I think that statement is nothing more true than you had three different pitchers all get the last out in the three games this weekend. And I just think that speaks volume about the depth of our bullpen. And I think it speaks volumes about how our position players trust whoever's out on the mound. And I just think this team is in a good spot right now. We're playing hard, we're playing tough. And like I said, we're just able to find different ways to win and be able to adjust mid game and still come out on top. Hit against Sabo, whose fastball is lined and on cue. That's a base hit down the right field line. It'll carry him toward the corner. Catherine over to pick it up in right field. That's a double for Alex Malsh. Alex, you had three hits today and contribute to two of the Wofford's runs. Tell us you're at time at plate. Um, first at bat, kind of try to slow things down. We had a quick inning, um, got two strikes, and then just try to put something in play. And uh, second at bat, I was looking for a pitch to hit, and that eventually came with two strikes. And then the last at bat was just try to get a bunt down. It was two outs, got in second, and just try to make something happen. With this SOCON sweep against the Citadel, tell us how your team will take this confidence into the next upcoming games. Um, well, we have a game Tuesday against Winthrop, so. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll take care of that first, and then Wednesday, Thursday practice, we'll, we'll lock it in and do, do what we can. And the senior deals, swinging a liner into right. Cothran going back. He leaps. It's over his head all the way to the wall. Two runs are in. Bradley will pull in at second with a stand-up double, and Wofford's lead is now 5-1. to one. The Southern Conference is having the one of the best seasons ever. Talk about it as a whole. Yeah, the depth of the league is really talented. And I mean, I think it was early on, we knew everybody was going to be really sound and really deep. And it's proven that way as we've gone through the first, you know, four or five weekends of SOCOM play. You know, you look at Western, they take one for Mercer on Friday night. You know, Sanford's winning 13, 14 in a row, and they go into UNCG and, you know, won the first two. I don't know how it turned out today, but, you know, everybody's beating everybody. And it's just one of those things where we just need to feel like we have to focus on ourselves and focus on our next opponent. And we'll start dialing into UNC Greensboro once we get through Winthrop this week. But we'll just focus on trying to get better on Tuesday. And I know it sounds trite, and I know it sounds mundane, and but that's, that's the truth. We'll start focusing on UNC Greensboro and we start practicing on Wednesday. And we know they're good and we know they're talented, but we'll look for their weaknesses against our strengths and we'll see how we can match up with them.